Hey everyone, welcome to Exorcist in Ireland. So, so far I've been playing this game since um, I think a week after launch and I'm going to give you guys an in-depth review of the game. So far, um, I've been progressing up to team level 20. So I have unlocked all of the content in battle here. So just going to take you to where I'm, you know, uh, pertaining to the last content that I uh, opened was arena but i haven't um, touched arena yet so before we proceed into any content i'd like to go over the characters that we have so we have three here on display in the lobby so we'll go to the index of course okay so for this game um the gotcha system is not in the characters but in the gear so the um, the characters here these three are going to be um you're gonna get them for free kind of free based on the progression for the story then all of the rest of the characters here you're going to be getting through a scout system okay so just gonna take you to the scout system the scout system is basically um Basically, gifting a certain is there a certain character. Then once you achieve one hundred percent affection, then you get to use that character. So it will be a long time before you unlock a character, especially if you're beginning the game. So you'll be stuck with the three that you have here. So let's go back to again um, all of the characters that we have. So the characters um the design um they are very 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 good um 3d 3d design 3d art um i think is one of one of the best i've seen um i'm i'm i'm, I'm going to i'm going to going to retract the best kind of nearing the best that i've seen so as you can see costume as you can see let's see another one here suki so 3d is not that bad so again, the game itself, um, the smoothness of the animations are good. I don't really have any complaint on uh, what I've seen so far. So as you can see here, this is Zen and the Dark. Again, um, characters are, you know, were designed really, really good. And you don't have to go through the gotcha to get all of them. You could actually get all of them eventually and level them up to SSR. So for your um, weapons, these will be for your gotcha. This will be your gotcha system. And um, again, it really depends on if you'll be getting SSR or S uh, yeah, SSR equipment it will make again your um your characters powerful so these are the low rarity equipment that you can get so you have set equipment hero growth material and everything so again for the characters i have nothing bad to say about the design um very actually it it uh, surpassed my expectation on the design um as far as the gameplay is concerned let's go through go through the gameplay guys and um let's uh, do one um episode here so i'll take you to so you can only again bring three so he's gonna critique the gameplay for you guys the gameplay um at first i was um i was enjoying it but eventually the gameplay doesn't have any you, you you don't have any control on the movement that's just it you don't have control on where or which target you can attack you can just control either auto or the speed of the game here so the the characters attack anyone by themselves if you press auto then they can use their skill and they could use their ultimate so that is actually one of the things that I find that is kind of frustrating because you can't select a target. Okay, um, also the ultimate takes forever. So sometimes you finish stages where you cannot even use your ultimate like this one. Um, this is your ultimate bar here. So most of them are half. So again, I could have wished that um, that I could have used the ultimate so that you can see the ultimate as well. But again, the ultimate is actually also very 
the animations here, the skills um, are actually crisp. The only problem is the control of the battle itself. And also, guys, I want to take you to... I want to take you to, again, to another battle. Um, if you want to do multiple battles, you can actually go to auto-repeat, but you cannot do um, instant clears or clear tickets. So those are the things I think that they should probably um, add to the game in the future if, uh, you, if they want to improve quality of life. And it's really, really a hard... You know, it's really hard to grind and level up your characters. It's really, you know, um, XP that you get from each stage that you clear gives you little XP. So that is also one of the gripes that I have for the gameplay. So let's just see this one. As you can see, again, the, the battle is not really coordinated that much. You cannot choose if there are multiple targets, one, two, or three, uh, two, three, or four. Then it's really up to the to the AI to direct you to whichever target he or she likes. So again, as you can see there, you cannot you cannot redirect them to this one. And uh, so again, that's it. So so far for gameplay, I would rate gameplay at uh, probably a seven. If they could, you know, give you choices on the gameplay, and if you and if they could give you more control over the gameplay or the action then it might be higher. So I'm giving them a 7 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going to stop autoplay here and let's leave this one. So let's go to the other content. So we have... Um, I've showed you the story. So the other content in the game will really rely on this one, the battle system. So again, um, as you can see there, I'm at level 20. You will unlock all at level 20 already. So... This one for Explorer, um, I think this is a good way to farm for um, farm for resources, especially for level up. But the drop rate for this one, the one that the, the high level uh, brew and this one, the level up brew, the drop rate seems to be very, very low that it's hard really to get um you know to get copies and it's really really hard to level up your heroes um events when you play events or w when you play the story um not not much um xp goes to your heroes so again it's really a pain to level your heroes up so again this is one th this should be a good content as long as they probably tweak the drop rate of especially the brew the level up brew i think it would be fine but hopefully they could you know do something about that because if they don't fix the drop rate of your level up brew you'll be stuck with a certain level like for example if you see my whole team i'm at r already i i was able to um give them an evolution and from n they went to r then i'm stuck at r i cannot level them up because um if even if i go to the story there's a small hp that just goes to them and again the brew is not enough where you can farm so that is one of the problems of the content um the good one the good thing about the content is actually the energy the energy itself refreshes fast that you can um play uh, let's say for example if you want to rest a bit then you can really really play it multiple times within the day but again it requires you a lot of grind for you to level up your characters and you'll be stuck at certain stages for i think quite a long time um so that is i think the the problem in terms of leveling up um stages as well for this one's for the ones that here are here skyscraper the difficulty is actually also very hard um i'm only up to level two i cannot complete three so again it requires you to level up your characters in which it's also hard to level up characters devil hunt also as well this requires you to level up your characters because i can only open up to phase one because my the CP here is at 11,000. The next one would be at 37, which again requires you to level up your characters and their equipment and skills. So again, it's really, really hard. My total my total BP um, combat power, um, I'm not sure where it is. So 
CP is 5, 5, and 6. So that's roughly around 16,000. 16 or 17,000. So I'm definitely way off um, on progression for um, Devil Hunt, Arena. Um, again, um, a lot of people already are so advanced that their CP is, um, as you can see here, ranking. Some of them are already at 300,000, 100,000. So you, I'm actually way off already. Even at um, the lowest of this ranking, it's at 100,000, 97,000. So again, um, I think you should, if you want to level up faster, if you want to progress faster, then you have to probably skip free to play and you know spend for this game so but most of you guys i'm sure are free to play so again if you're free to play it's really really hard to to progress with the content and it's hard as well to get sub resources to level up your characters okay so the gotcha currency as you can see here this is your gotcha currency which is your gems. Gems are can be farmed through the story. And again, the story also has a hurdle because, again, as you go through the episodes, I'm already at episode 5, um, the suggested required CP, I actually can, you know, can, can attempt to clear this one, but we'll see if I can clear it even though I have exceeded the CP. So, so far... Based on my experience for um for what you call this for the gacha currency, they can be mined through the story. Most of them are mined in the story, and um I'm not sure yet if free to play is um is really um it's sustainable for this game at this point. I'm not sure, um, but for now, um in terms of progression, free to play will have a you know. A hard time progressing in this game okay so we're just gonna be finishing this so as I'm, I'm gonna prove my point in terms of I've exceeded um, I've exceeded BP if I can clear this one the boss for this stage is pretty much very hard so even though if you've exceeded your BP the stages are really really hard so let's see if uh, I can do this so this is the last stage for the boss So, so far so good. Uh, but I'm losing HP already. The boss is kind of tough. As you can see, one down, two down. So that proves my point, guys. Even if you've exceeded your the, the, the lowest BP for a team, there's actually a chance that you can still clear the stage. So that proves it. And um, again, I've been stuck in some of the stages here. It cannot go further. Okay, so again, for my final thoughts, um, if you guys have a very long patience in terms of uh, leveling up, um, grinding every day, and probably itching, inching your way through leveling up your characters, then this game is going to be a real, a real grind. So as you can see again, team CP versus required CP. So I've exceeded, but yet can can clear any of the um, chapter five story mode. So again, the key for this game is to level up, and it's hard to level up. So. I hope the devs would have, um, you know, would uh, create the, the the first few stages, um, you know, to make the players enjoy and level up faster or progress faster, so that you know, uh, the player base would would also be a lot and continue to grow. But so far, based on experience, it will be a grind. So again, guys, if you enjoy this kind of gameplay, if you enjoy this kind of um, gotcha game. Um, then this is the game for you. So, so hopefully in the future, the devs could adjust um, the difficulty settings in terms of progression, in terms of leveling up. So those are my thoughts, my final thoughts. Um, this game will really um, have its place as long as you keep the player base happy um, and keep the earlier stages easy. 
so that players can progress faster and have an easier time in um, finishing up some of the stages or all, all of the stages. Okay, guys, so that is it so far for my review and um, and thoughts on the game. So again, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because this helps me a lot. And thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.